Hello, how's it going everybody? This is Etho and welcome back. We're playing some more Project Ozone 2. Uh, so we made it to Venus last episode, guys. We did the dungeon. Uh, we're pretty much ready to leave here. We just gotta get some carbon. Carbon ore is the specialty of this planet. Obviously, you cannot get carbon on Earth. <laughs> it's the o this is the only place it can be found in the universe, guys. Yes. It's a special isotope of carbon or something. Uh-huh. We got to get enough to make our next rocket. Uh, don't know how much that'll be. I think about maybe a stack at least. We'll, we'll grab two or three before we leave here, though. Uh, and I wanted to maybe do some vein mining and see what that does. Uh-huh. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, because we're, we're pretty much... Uh, a man-made quarry here. We we don't need no quarry. We are a quarry. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> With the low gravity. Uh-huh. And then we just snag it like this. That's, this will work out pretty good, actually. Alright, we're at Y26. I want to see what's at the bottom of Venus, too. Is it just bedrock, or is there lava? Let's find out. Solve the mysteries of our solar system right now. Oh, it looks like it's bedrock. Just bedrock, no lava? Yep, just bedrock, okay. Ninety-eight, ninety-nine, one hundred! <laughs> These little guys are, are saving me from the big guy. Like, he tries to jump at me and then he gets knocked away by them. <laughs> they're, they're a shield for me. All right, guys, I grabbed uh, our chests, uh, left the fuel loader here, and our oxygen stuff in case we need to come back. Got about two and a half stacks of carbon. Should be enough. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. Nice. Can you, can you steal from this while it's falling? No, you can't open it. All right, it's very good, guys. So I just did an armor repair here in the washing machine. We're all spit and span, ready for our next adventure. So let's see, what is the best way of dealing with this stuff? Do you need pyro? You can just smelt it. Or I think, uh, oh, pulverizer. Okay, let's do pulverizer. That's the way to do it. Uh, throw this in here. Get the carbon dust. With a little bit extra, that's good. And then I think we just smelt this, right? Hopefully. <laughs> uh, let's find out. Yeah, we just smelt it. We get carbon ingots, very good. And we should be about set for uh, making our rocket. So, we got the rocket blueprint uh, somewhere over here. Yeah, we'll throw that into our NASA workbench. Now, I asked you guys if I can break this uh, workbench, and I, I was told you can without it losing all these schematics, because that's what I was scared of. If I move it, am I going to lose them all? Uh, we'll just make the tier 4 rocket, just in case I've been misled. <laughs> and then uh, we can finally move this and put it in a better spot. But it sounds like it's safe to break it. Uh, so tier 4 rockets is going to take carbon and probably the previous plates. Yeah, carbon and the heavy duty plates. So that's really easy for us to do. All right, guys, I think we are actually going to get to Mercury today, believe it or not. Uh, I know I've said that like every episode for the last 20 episodes or so, <laughs> but I think it's actually going to happen. I think it's happening. Um, this is the way I get my gas, by the way, just from our plastic maker thing. Seems to work pretty good. And let's see here. We got our plates done now. Yeah, these finished. Tier 4 plates. So this recipe for the, the tier 4 rocket is basically just a lot of these plates. I think we needed, oh, probably 30 or 40 plates um, to make the different parts, the, the fins and the boosters and all that stuff. And we got to put our engine on, our tier 4 nose cone. There it is. <laughs> what does this one look like? Uh, much the same. It's got uh, pink boosters, though, instead of the, the green ones or whatever it was. Uh, we have a little bit of a problem, guys. I just realized it did not register in the book, in our quest book. 
So we were supposed to craft this. We did, and it didn't register. I should have went on uh, manual detect, I guess. Uh, the problem is I put it on the launch pad, and it has fuel in it now. So it's not quite what the quest book is looking for. <laughs> I'm hoping though after we uh, land here like it'll be out of fuel and then maybe it'll count otherwise we'll have to make another one probably but yeah anyways we're off to Mercury I grabbed our our chests and stuff uh, maybe got too many things on me I could have left some of this behind although I can use it oh <laughs> all right don't don't right click while in the rocket I just about missed the flight all right, Mercury, here we go. Does Mercury have any moons? No moons on Mercury. Didn't think so. All right. Downloading the terrain, and we are in a parachute again. I'm guessing all these uh, later planets are going to be parachute planets instead of landers. All right. Uh, looks like it's nighttime. Pretty... No, not standard mobs. We got blazes on this planet, too. And seems to be a lot of Endermen, or is that my imagination? Okay, don't lose <laughs> don't lose sight of our chest here. I'm just gonna mark it. And the, the Endermen are angry, too. I didn't look at them, they're just angry. Yeah, we'll leave that there, or should I try to grab it? Let's clear out the creepers. I think I do need the stuff in here, don't I? All right, and hopefully, let's just check our quest book. Yeah, it counted now. Good. Um, same deal as last last time. I think I'll just dig inside the the hillside here and set up a base. Okay, so nothing too fancy here, but it does the trick. It's nice and cozy. Got power. We got our oxygen collector and compressor, so we can refill our tanks uh, before they run out, and uh, also set up the rocket on the roof here with the orange beacon, our Venus rock, so I don't lose the location. <laughs> As I almost did on uh, the last planet, on Venus, because I didn't mark the hill too well. And uh, all we really got to do here is find the Mercury uh, ingots or ore or whatever. All right, check this out. There's a village here spawned in a ravine. <laughs> so the houses are just kind of floating. It's hollow underneath. It's kind of cool. This is one of the farms. Uh, looking around here, though, I haven't found any mercury yet. Like, I thought that was it, but it was tin. So I think we'll just vein miner and see what pops up. On Venus, there was a lot of carbon. Maybe it's not so common here. Or maybe you gotta... Oh, it's over here. <laughs> That's what you gotta do. You gotta open your eyes. It looks... I guess it's probably close in color to the tin, and maybe I just didn't notice it. That's the tin. Yeah, that's the tin. Let's put them side by side, just to compare. Almost identical, right? That has a little bit more pink to it, I think. Uh-huh. And after we get a stack or two of this uh, Mercury, I think we're done with the space travel stuff for a while. And check it out, guys. So this is what it looks like after I finished mining. <laughs> uh, did quite a bit of mining here. But we got just over three stacks of mercury ore, so that should be good for quite a while. And now we are done with the, the space stuff, I think. We can get back to building our base and, and that kind of thing. Because all we really need what needed was mercury from all the space stuff. Uh, later, we will need palladium as well. That's tier five, I think. And uh, some of the other rockets, I noticed we can cheese. We don't even have to go to the other planets. We can just build it with uh, some of the stuff we got. Like if we look at the... Tier, f tier 9 rocket, for example. This requires tungsten. And there's a conversion recipe. <laughs> and we're getting this from sifting ores, or from sifting uh, sand, so we can just convert it and make the rocket if we want. We might explore stuff just for the fun of it, though, too. Uh, oh, yeah, let's grab our stuff before we leave here. Um, so I, I've been bringing these chests with us. The nice thing about strong boxes is they are blast proof, so if a creeper was to blow up, they wouldn't uh, wreck the, the contents inside. But these are tiny, tiny strong boxes. I, I should make some bigger ones. That way I only need one instead of two. All right, anyways, let's get out of here.
Oh, no. No, it actually happened. <laughs> I was afraid of this. <laughs> uh, we missed our island. Dude, it's not letting me... Oh, no. It is not letting me fight it, either. Uh, angel blocks. Angel blocks, save. Save me. Please. I'm about to die! I can't dismount off this parachute, can I? Oh, come on. What if I... If I do that? Oh, where am I? Am I in the void? What happened? Oh, I was in the void. <laughs> oh, man! I'm almost out of jetpack fuel, too. Let's get to the island real quick, and then we'll check out our crate. What happened to it? Oh, I'm in hover mode. That's what's wrong here. Oh, dude. Like, every time I've returned to to our base here, I've landed, like, right around here. This time it put me off the island for some reason. Okay, uh, recharge. We were at 3% jetpack fuel. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, let's check out what happened to our Tier 4 rocket, because it was in that, that crate. It should be at the bottom of the void, right? Somewhere? I'm hoping. Mm, I don't see the chest. What what level are we at? 40, so it could be a little bit lower. Should be able to spot it pretty easy, though, right? If it landed? Uh, yeah, so I looked around. I'm pretty sure <laughs> our crate with our rocket in, our Tier 4 rocket, just drifted into the void and got deleted. Uh-huh. <laughs> Not a big deal. We can make another rocket easy because we, we got extra carbon and stuff when we were on Venus. So let's not worry about it for right now. Uh, what I do want to do is check out what we can make with the mercury. So it looks like we pulverize it like we did with the carbon. Then we'll smelt it. And I just want to see all the recipes we can make with it. I know we need it for the disk drive. That's the main reason we went for this mercury. But let's see what else. Uh, so you make some tools out of it. Oh yeah, and you need it for these logic cards. The ME drive, that was the main thing I wanted. Um, these are used in quite a few recipes too, I think, though. And Extreme Furnace, okay. I guess let's check out also the controller here. So this is the main thing you need to get an ME system running. It's kind of the brains of the operation. We're going to need these Pure Fluix Crystals. We're going to need osmium crystals, concentrated cloud seed. We need a lot of stuff still. <laughs> like, we're close, I think, but not quite there yet. Let's focus on these first, because I think this will be the easiest one. Uh, so we got to make we gotta make this stuff, the, the crystals, right? Now, last episode, we started making this Fluix dust. Um, what do we need? Charged Certus Quartz... Nether Quartz and Redstone Dust. Okay, that's the way we're going to do it, I think. Um, so we have up to a 1,000 of that. We had, like, none last episode. Now we have a 1,000, so that's good. Uh, we're going to get our Redstone. Redstone Quartz. I think it was non-pulverized quartz, but we'll grab both just in case. And Charged Certus Quartz. So we got a little bit of this. Not a lot. I think that's 299 in there. You get that from sifting sand just on very rare occasions. And I kind of stopped sifting sand a while ago because uh, uh, that pulverizer was causing lag. All right, so I think all we got to do is drop it in water, right? And if I remember right, <laughs> that and the quartz, right? Ta-da! <laughs> oh, that's cool. Okay, so then we can take these and combine them with the plant stuff, the Flux Essence, to make the pure stuff. Otherwise, you got to grow these, and the first time you do that is really difficult. It takes a lot of time, so we're going to we're gonna try to skip that. Uh, we're going to get four of these blocks and start with the seeds right off the bat here. One, two, three, four. Throw that on. One, two, three, four. Ta-da! <laughs> ah, what? What was it? Fluix? Blue? Oh, it's a Certus Quartz. Oh, darn. That's what's wrong. We need dense Certus Quartz. Okay. Um, 
that might actually be a problem. Because I doubt we have any of that, right? Certus. Yeah, we don't have that. Hmm. Okay, so I think that leaves us with like three options or so. One of them is to just go mine it in the nether here. Uh, another option is to use an er enrichment chamber on regular Certus Quartz to turn it into an ore. Or, <laughs> I think our mining machine might have got some of that, so let's check it out. Uh, our laser drill one. Did we get any? Yeah, we got seven. That's not enough. Not even close. Okay, I just I just double checked, and I guess we can't get it in the nether here at all. <laughs> so it's laser drill or enrichment chamber. Or I thought of one other possibility, the deep dark. We could probably mine it from the deep dark dimension, right? Problem is, I don't think we have enough cobblestone to make the portal yet. <gasps> oh, we do. We finally hit one octuple. Yes. <laughs> I've been waiting on this for so long. Oh, this day has finally come. All right, guys, we're going to make bedrockium. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, and it makes you heavy so you can't walk. So this is enough for nine ingots. What do you need to make the portal? Do we have enough? Uh, deep, dark portal. Oh, I missed. Oh, no. Oh no, it takes a lot, doesn't it? It's one bed bedrock, so that's nine octuple plus four. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, we're way off. We're way off. We need like over 10 times this. Darn. Okay, well, I think we just did a quest anyways. Yeah, we just did a quest. Uh, that would be under one of these. Oh, over here, Iota. Oh, tier four rocket. We never claimed this one. I thought we uh, got one for making bedrockium, no? Gamma. It's under gamma. Uh, one for... Oh, yeah, there's one for bedrockium. We have to make the ingot, and we need the drum. That takes six. Okay, let's do that. Let's go ahead and do that. Finish up a quest here. Uh, we need a cauldron. And we need some gold plates. One, two... All right, let's double check the count of the ingot quest before we make this. Yeah, it did. And then we will make our drum. And this is good because I, I actually really wanted to get some bedrockium drums um, for our oil supply because I have to like constantly refill it right now and it's annoying. Yeah. Bedrockium drum, like almost infinite liquid storage. So it's really cool. All right, so that one's done. So this is one of the quests to make the portal, and there's also Portal to the Last Millennium. I've never done that before. Is that also Bedrockium? Ah, oh, it's some weird stone instead. Okay. And Burnt Quartz, that's easy. All right, let's try to uh, stay focused here, though. I'm not going to get sidetracked. We'll, we'll keep on the ME system uh, line here. I do want to change this, though. So this is our oil drum. It's empty right now. We will put the bedrockium drum here instead, and uh, was it right-click with this, I think? And now when we order oil, we can probably do it in bigger quantities if we want. Because this is something I have to do regularly. Oh, we're out of emeralds. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> can I, uh, oh, I, you know what I wanted to try with this, actually, is click on our our drawer of emeralds. We have 500 in there. Maybe we can get the money out of there instead of from the chest I have up above. What did it say? Set set the item providing location to... That worked, right? This is all red now, though. Now, it doesn't seem to want to work with this drawer for some reason. I don't know why. Like, I've tried shift, right-clicking, right-clicking. Um, this always stays red for some reason. So we're going to have to set up a, a different payment location, I guess. Like, this is where we had it before. And it's out of out of emeralds, so if we grab some, put it in here. Now it's probably not going to be red if we if we set it to here, right? Uh. Oh yeah, this is it here. Selling oil, buying emeralds. Yeah, so this is where this is working again. I don't know. The drawers don't seem to work for some reason. It's weird. Uh, anyways. 
what did I want to do? Oh yeah, let's try out. Let's try breaking this just to test that theory. <laughs> I want to know if it works or not before I invest more into this. Yeah, so it it saves it to our player, not to the actual block. It seems that's good. So it still remembers the tier four blueprint in there. We'll find a better spot for that. Um, for right now, let's put it away because it's kind of big and in the way. We'll just throw it in the chest here. And, oh yeah, let's open up our reward bags. See what we get. Two greater bags. Horse armor. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is a really good one. Especially since we're so close now. That's awesome. Okay, very happy about that. So we got some cables, some Emmy cables, and a panel. Very valuable stuff. We'll just put these in storage for right now. So we are going to look into the enrichment chamber. This is also a quest, so... We may as well do it, right? Um, the thing that was holding us back on this before was these advanced circuits. We're going to have to get into a new mod here. Uh, quantum something. This requires some weird stuff, if I remember right. Titanium we have. What was... There was something about this I couldn't do. Silica. Oh, it's the sand. What was it? Maybe I couldn't make the item fabricator. I remember getting stuck on this, though. Item fabricator. Oh, yeah, I think this was it. So this requires an amplification crystal. And these, the logic cards, which we need the mercury for. So that was the holdup. We can do that now. We can make a bunch of them. They do stack, too. Oh, I love it when things stack. It makes it so much simpler. Um, and then our item fabricator. No, we need the amplification crystal. Amplification. This was another quest, too. So let's go ahead and do it. Now, I know we have rubies. No? Ah, uh, ho. Oh. What? <laughs> we should have thousands. Oh, are they in... Uh, they might be in block form. Let's go down here, actually, because I know we have those. There was something weird with them. Yeah, they're right... Oh, it says zero. Okay, we can get rubies from sifting crushed netherrack. So that we're gonna, just going to do a little bit. I know where they went. They went into all these lasers. I used I used them all up making these, I guess. Each one requires one, I think. And we have made several hundred of those lasers. Okay, so let's check our chest here. Do do. Oh, block of ruby. Okay, that's what we wanted. We will uncompress that. Get nine rubies. Make a few of these amplification crystals. I like saying that for some reason. Amplification crystals. <laughs> uh huh. All right, so let's check out Zeta, I guess, is the one. So that was one of our things we needed to do. We'll check out our bag. It's a good bag with a basic bin. We're getting lots of these basic bins. I think they're storage containers. Yeah, storage containers. They look pretty good, too. Okay, so we got that. Um, now the item fabricator. It's going to need that weird dark stone. We can make a lot of that. That's not a problem. That's good. Then we needed these iron casings. Uh, we might have those. Oh, we do. Look at that. Item fabricator. Let's make two of these because we might need to have several things going at once. Um, does it show us the recipes just by looking in here? Yeah, recipes. Okay, so one of the things we needed was silica. We need these Mystic Quartz things. We need these Advanced Circuits. And I think that was it. Maybe Blank Circuits, too. So what do we use to power this? This is a mod I've never used. So it looks like it RF power connects to it. That's good. We have a little bit of power in here. We'll dismantle that because I need to clean up around here. And it is getting powered, so that's good news. All right, Sand and Quartz. Let's just see how long this takes. It's pretty slow, isn't it? Hmm. Don't know if you can upgrade these. Uh, maybe one of these items upgrades it. Quantum components. Quantum components. <laughs> Not very descriptive. Quantum components. Yeah, it doesn't say like, oh, this speeds up the machine or anything. Okay, so it's probably a good idea. Before you decide you're going to make something, 
to actually check if you can make it the way you think you can. <laughs> So this is the combiner. This is what I was thinking of, not the enrichment chamber. We needed the combiner to combine the surface quartz with cobblestone to make the ore, I thought. Uh, it turns out it's not actually one of the recipes here. You can do just about everything else except for the surface quartz. So we've been running down a pathway that's not even going to work here. So not a big deal, really. Um, it's good to have this these uh, item fabricators set up. We're going to need them later anyways, but it doesn't get us any closer to the ME system, unfortunately. So let's uh, let's do this the right way instead. And by the way, I did some research. Uh, we're just going to set these up over here, I think. We'll set up five of them because I could not find a way to actually speed them up. If there is a way, let me know in the comments, but I, I couldn't find anything in the mod that did it. I did find something interesting, though. There is a, a machine called an imaginary time block. It says it manipulates time to increase the growth of crops. So it uses 1,000 RF per tick. And I think we'll need this in the later game, like when we need to mass produce uh, a lot of material, a lot of uh, resources. This uh, will help us do it quicker. All right, so it seems the only way we're going to get the Certus Quartz is from the laser drill. So we can't get it from the nether, we can't use the combiner, uh, after all, we have to do it here. Um, the only way to get this is from the plants, so yeah, let's get this thing running again and we'll, we'll hopefully get it eventually here while we work on the other stuff. Okay, so it's going to take a little while before we can make these crystals, so let's work on something else here. Let's do the, the processors. So to make processors requires an inscriber. To make an inscriber, <laughs> this is how, how how crafting always works in this patch. It's like you want to make something, you gotta go five steps back. Uh, thankfully, though, we kind of have most of the stuff now. So this is going to require carbon. We went to Venus, we got our carbon. Uh, it's going to require comparators, and I think it was silicon. Maybe some redstone. Let's grab redstone too. So we combine this in our Oh, what was it called again? Not. Oh yeah, this thing here. So we put carbon here. We put our comparators here, I think. Oh, uh, carbon did not go there. Why did the carbon not go up here? I don't know. <laughs> did I did I try to place it there or did I shift click it? Shift clicking didn't work. Uh, anyways, so we do this. It's gonna create these. Wafers. Looks like we get three. Oh, and they're part of extreme crafting here, too. Okay. This is something we need a lot of these chaos catalysts. So we're going to need a lot of carbon eventually. Oh, and this makes us solar panels, too. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, we just need five for right now. All right. Here we go. Inscriber. Very cool. Now we also need power, <laughs> so let's get on our, our power situation here. That I think was pretty easy. Let's look at applied in energistics. Um, quartz glass, surface quartz, flux dust. Okay. What is required to make the quartz glass here? Let's find that out. Oh, it's just, that's easy. Very easy. Good news. Okay. And then we can make our power. May as well make all of them, because I think you need the previous tier to make the next tier. Yeah, you do. Okay. So we'll use we'll use those up eventually here. Uh, we take this. Um, we need to convert power to... What was that thing called? Energy Acceptor. So this will convert RF power to the... Um, whatchamacallit? Applied Energistics power? I forget what it's called. Eight. Is it AE power? I don't know. <laughs> uh, doesn't show me in the in the wayla either. Okay, so this will convert. So if we put, where's our energy cell from before? If we put that over here, this will start to charge up. Yeah, it has 625 RF right in it right now. And now if we grab some some of those cables we got before, it should send the power to the inscriber. 
So I think this is set up. So let's start making our blueprints or our, our presses for the inscriber. Normally you find these in meteorites, but in this pack, it looks like you have to create them. So if we want to make a calculation press, for example, we need a block of iron and a block of certus quartz. So let's, let's try this out. We'll grab an iron. Oh, I'm doing it again. <laughs> Bad habits. Use the scroll wheel. Oh, I grabbed I grabbed more than I wanted anyways. Just just need one. Yeah, and it's working awesome. So it's able to to run with the power we gave it. So that'll make a calculation press. Okay, so now if we want to make a silicon, printed silicon, we just put that up there and that over there. Okay, let's try that out. It doesn't want to go there for some reason. Oh no. <laughs> It's supposed to, this This is the silicon press. It's supposed to go here. Now I'm worried. What am I doing wrong here, guys? Inscriber silicon press, silicon, makes printed silicon. Okay, we're going to try to feed it in with a machine. Or with a cable, I mean. That works. We can't place it in ourselves. It has to be through cables. Weird. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I just checked the time. It is about time we wrap up our episode for today. We didn't get the ME system, but we're getting closer. This is going to require an engineering press. Let's just do this before we wrap up so that we, we feel like we're closer. <laughs> so put that in. We'll start getting those uh, engineering uh, pieces. Let's go down here. We're going to need some pulsating chipsets which we produce at our laser laser tables here. Okay, and then we combine those with these uh, engineering circuits. I guess we'll just shut this off for now. We, we just need a few. Oh, stop. Stop going in there. Okay, and then silicon and um, this, right? It's not going to let me place that in. So you always, it seems like you always have to place it uh, through the cables. Yeah, okay. Well, we got it. Aha! <laughs> One more thing off the list here. Uh, but yeah, we should th we should set this up properly. We We can't just keep putting it on the ground here. But we'll do that next episode. So thank you guys for watching. As always, hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you again in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.